Arthur, obviously you're looking particularly at the, uh, at the global capital flows. Um, how do you now see 2014 and also what do you see as the, the prospects, the key prospects for 2015? Well, we've just uh, closed our uh, preliminary data for our global capital flows report, which shows that uh, 2014 ended up as uh, you know, a pretty strong year. Global transaction volumes hit the uh, 700 billion, uh, which is what we forecast back in October, which was uh, 18% up on 2013. Um, so as far as 2015 is concerned, um, we still think that uh, demand from investors for, for real estate will continue to be uh, robust and we are forecasting uh, gain uh, growth in transaction volumes of around uh, four to maybe seven percent, so ending up the year in 2015 at around 730 to perhaps 750 billion dollars. And do you see particular regions doing better than others and, and drilling down a little bit more into, into Europe? What do you see as the prospects there? Well, if we look back at 2014, I mean, Europe was the sort of primary beneficiary to a lot of global capital flows from North America as well as from, from Asia. Um, we think that, you know, given the uncertainty now around Eurozone again, you know, Greece's possible exit again back on the agenda, um, deflation, low growth, you know, maybe the volume of capital that we've seen coming from offshore into Europe might slow a little bit, but that capital has to go somewhere. So we think that actually North America will be a beneficiary of that um, to some degree. Some of the North American capital may stay in its domestic market rather than being coming to Europe as we've seen recently. Uh, in Asia Pacific, we saw China slow down quite significantly in 2014. Australia had a very strong year. Uh, we think that in uh, 2015, China will start to pick up. China had a very strong final quarter in 2014. So we think that the momentum might be picking up a little bit in China. We think Australia will you know, be challenged to meet the, the record year that it had uh, in, in 2014. And looking at it from the JLL point of view, what do you see as the prospects for Europe in 2015? You know, UK continues to be a very attractive market for uh, offshore investors. We think that will continue. Clearly, the outcome of the election is of concern to, to many uh, international investors now. Um, so I think that will s hold things back, perhaps, for the first half of the year. Depending on the outcome of the election, we hope that we will see a, a strong finish to the year. Um, you know, Germany continues to be an attractive market because of its steady uh, performance. Um, 2014, we saw a, a significant surge in activity in southern Europe. Uh, we think that will, you know, should continue. Clearly, if Greece starts to renegotiate its position and possibly comes out of the Eurozone during the course of 2015, that might have an impact in, in southern Europe. So that will bring you know, the Nordics and Benelux and countries like that more into the uh, attention of investors uh, during the course of 2015.